Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. JCF finally, finally confirms the amount of money that was seized at the house, Carl Gardens, St. James, when they pulled over this suspect here that was carrying a large amount of cash and a large amount of Diet Coke. Ladies and gentlemen, greetings, greetings, and salutations to all nation. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm Rastafari, greetings, soldier greetings. of Deep Roots TV, and if this is yes, your first Jesus, time tuning greetings. in, I'm asking you, hit Deep that Roots, red man. subscribe yeah, button. We're, time, we're, we're going to have a great feet. relationship, ladies and gentlemen, if you are interested as I am, where Jamaicans get so much money. Especially in this particular raid, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to like this update. Now, this update is showing you here that the cops has seized over $600 million worth of narco dollars on the operation here. The Jamaican constable is remaining tight-lipped, though, on the probe that has found a huge stash of foreign currency totaling over 600 million Jamaican dollars, which is seized during the operation in West Kingston earlier this week. The tally of 3.8 million US and three, I'm sorry, 30,000 Canadian was confirmed on Thursday night after two days of counting. You hear that, my family? You see how much money we have in a Jamaica? It take two days for the JCS to count it. The Jamaican Constable Ford said that they finally figured out the U.S. currency is a significant less than the figure of $5 million that they thought. Later, they thought it was $7 million, which had initially been put forward as a possible sum of cash when contacted Yesterday, Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay, head of the Police Corporate Community Unit, told the local newspaper that she was not prepared to make any additional comment on the seizure. To hear those talk, I am not in position to comment on the right on that right now because I need to talk back to some persons who are close to the investigation. We just sent out a release. Regarding the monetary figures, Lindsay said in a brief statement, Senior Superintendent Veron Ellis, who headed the St. James Police Division, was also hesitant to comment on the current state of investigation. You hear that, family? It sounds like them run up on some big man things and take it away. In a media release Friday morning, the police said that the house where the cash was found is believed to be owned by a man who was well known in Western Jamaica. Two days earlier, Chambers had indicated that the homeowner, who was not publicly identified, had previously has been subjected to extradition requests from the United States. So, I don't speculate, we are speculate if I want big, big man. Two persons have since been arrested while owner of the house who was subjected to a drug extradition request from the United States in 2005 is being sought. A high-level investigation is now trained which extend beyond to the shore of Jamaica, Chambers said at the time he did not then indicate which jurisdiction may get involved of this probe. In addition to the money bust, Tuesday operation resulted in seizure of over 500,000 worth of the Diet Coke and the arrest of a 46-year-old businessman whose possession of that drug was reportedly, that drug was found. Now, the businessman who taken into custody by the police after the vehicle was reportedly 
searched and they found the 11 gram of Diet Coke. To be dated has not been identified as yet. Additionally, a 29-year-old female bartender was arrested in West Milan after she was reportedly held with a quantity, a large sum, large quantity of ganja. But one of the several secondary operations which yield more cash included a home in St. Elizabeth. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I took that time to read that is because I could recall news of these people that you see sometimes in the pictures with the money. You remember that home right here that was seized? And it appears that back in 2000, and say for in the time of President George Bush, when there was a declaration of seven prominent Mobe businessmen, including Ramcharam, Donovan Williams, which is plucky, Rob Roy Williams, which you know do we call him spy, Glenford Williams. Vivian Daly, they were all arrested on operations carried out by local police. Following challenge in the local courts, ladies and gentlemen, all expected one, except for one person, was arrested and extradited to the United States. Man like Ramcharan were convicted and sentenced to extended prison sentences. Remember, while others were accepting plea deals, he refused to. Now, afterwards, it appears that he came to his senses. The alleged drug lord, King Ping, seems to have pointed to another enforcer of the so-called drug ring that has been running rampant in Jamaica that have been creating millionaires and also have been creating a violent environment and a don't care attitude amongst the youths. Now he pointed out that Mr. Presley Bingham, otherwise called Presser or Butcherman of Lilliput and Iron Shore in Montego Bay, was the strong arm of the organization on a here where me ask people. Now Mr. Bigham was taken back into custody. And afterwards, there was a successful blockage of the attempt of the American government to have him extradited. In July of 2007, a major foul up by the local authorities that was accidentally done on purpose to appeal the reduce or the surrender of the alleged criminal, Mr. Brighamham, which is Presley, which they call Presser. However, the local authorities failed to extradite him because there was a so-called incorrect enforcement of the law and the courts were forced to release him it appears that under certain extradition law they have 60 days to actually process the entire thing and it appears that the local judge processed it with 59 given no chance of the u.s coming to get him but the armed hand of the communication system is saying now that the United States Department did gather more information because remember man like Ram Charam and them who gave information to get a reduced sentence back them <laughs> look like them rat out Mr. Brighamham 
who has been described as a major player in the international drug trade and was indicated by the U.S. Grand Jury along with Norris, Debo, Nembhard, Class Ford, Morris, Rob Roy Williams, and five others who are now serving time in the United States. This was back in 2007, 2008 in a paper. The government prosecutor on Wednesday announced that the U.S. prosecutor have statements from Debo, Nembhard, and Delroy Williams who pointed to Mr. Brigham as a major enforcer in the organization of crime in Jamaica based on his first information. The U.S. prosecutor have described Brigham as violent and dangerous. Debo or Dido Nimhard who sentenced to 13 years in prison after shrinking sentence because he struck a deal with the United States government. He has reportedly given the U.S. government a list of names of local politicians and senior cops that are allegedly involved in drug trafficking as part of the plea deal. However, defense attorney Jacqueline Samuel at that time, Samuel Browns, told the halfway tree criminal court on Wednesday that Nembhard and Williams cannot be considered credible witness as a matter of law. She argued that the two that were convicted gave statements against Mr. Brigham in order to save their own skin. She argued that Mr. Brigham ought to to be granted bail pending challenges in the extradition request. Now, you know what happened. He was granted bail and never was extradited. Sources are now, this is back in 2009, sources are now saying that the 600 million and this particular case is linked to Mr. Bingham. You understand what I'm saying? Presley Bingham, which they call Pressa. And it appears that it's been reported that the long arm of the United States, UK, Canada have gathered a lot of information on top police and government. And it appears that this is a big, big arrest as far as fighting in the transatlantic so-called drug war. Because it appears that these men are multi, multi millionaire, and Mr. Presley Bingham, otherwise called Presser, and the butcher man of Lillipop there in Iron Shore in Montego Bay, has been known to many people worldwide, nationwide, in the island of Jamaica, especially, like they said, he's well known in the West. So, either him look run out, or there's a new sheriff in town. They say they have found and confirmed 3.8 million U.S. dollars and over 30,000 Canadian that's confirmed. They also said that they had confiscated at the time in the car over 11 kilo of Diet Coke. So it is alarming that my little island 
I stand, like I said, with the criminals for years, whether if it's the local population, but it's obvious at this time that the governmental bodies have been perpetuating crime. Now, the amount of money we me see in a, this your video, your people, make me have to really scratch my head. This is not Jamaican money. This is U.S. spread. A whole heap of money this, a whole heap of cheese this, a whole heap of bread this, people. So, as some real, real big man them here. But you see, like I told you a long time, Rasta will bring you the truth and tell you the truth here on Deep Roots. A government invent crime. See, they know what's going on. They know the law. They know the stipulation. They know the loophole. And you see it. The same people them where was extradited are listed as being extradited are the same people them I get busted again are on the run. Cause what's being reported in the news, how can you arrest someone with eleven kilo? They claimed it was a street value of over 75 mil they found over 3.8 million US and over 30,000 Canadian that means international bodies and international investments might have been made or international tourist area are being targeted but I know U.S. want back their money. And Canada want back their money. So if the ambassador or someone representing the United States or the World Monetary Fund or whoever IMF now pick up the money again, something wrong or have a guard on it. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, the superintendent, Baron Ellis, who is the head of the St. Mary Police Division, was also hesitant when asked about the current state of the investigation wow and senior superintendent stephanie lindsay head of the police corporate communication unit told the local newspaper that she was not prepared to make any additional statement on the seizure. Well, would I like to at least know who was arrested? Would I like to know who was the owner of the home where the seizure were made? Would I like to know who, at least who owned the car? We would at least like to know so we could have some kind of transparency here in Jamaica because we already done don't trust the government. Cause I must sound tapa 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 them ya some tap man them ya. You are guarantee. So people may just a touch upon them thing because me sure you say the corruption is getting out, but they are doing their best. To keep it on the wraps and to cover it. And we're not in a it. From the log on to the approach, I'm telling you the truth. Straight up the truth. At least I hear a few names, two names from me. But I can't believe that you could catch someone with 11 kilo. And how much, how much money. But them say tally up to over 600 million Jamaican dollar. Over 3.8 million US. Plus 30 grand in a Canadian and uno can't tell me the name. Uno can't show a picture upon T upon YouTube and Facebook and nothing. So what? The government to hide and protect the identity of this criminal? It's obvious and clear. Real obvious and real clear. It's unbelievable, people. 
What? This criminal identity need to be kept sealed. And I know I read earlier where the lady, 29-year-old female that was the bartender that was arrested, her name was revealed. So much for transparency. So much for trust in the government. That's all I can say. How can you arrest someone with over 11 kilo, rally back to them yard and find how much 3.8 million, 30,000 Canadian, where you confirm and you still can't give him name. It take you two days, people. Two days, them said them take for count up this money. A whole heap of money. A whole Roma money them have. I'm saying rumors have it that this man used to make bill, bill house. Who will new house for store money in it? That's what I say. Yes, when, when, when we do the first news, I say for real. It look like them have the whole of one story of the house full of money. Well, I mean, and I don't look up here and man house there, so you know, I saw heavy, heavy people were involved with some other heavy, heavy peoples. So they might try to sweep it under the table because what? Absent make the mind grow forgetful. Out of sight, out of mind. But I just wanted to give you some information to show you, say, a Babylon, I invent crime. How one person I go have so much money I me can't get none. Me know many of my family wear tear old pants and them think they will still a bit. One pair of shoes. No running water, no road, no light. And the one with this one and this one thief look a light and one lock we up. But look at this guy right here. I'm going to build all that extra light company. But you're not asleep. And you have to watch your friends them. Because I see them friends them rat them out. Because it's a change of regime. And sometimes. They may take you down than to go down with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rasta Farai Soldier here. I'm reporting here. It's just absolutely shocking. That Jamaica can catch somebody. With. $3.8 million worth of money, U.S. cash, currency, raw, 30,000 Canadian, raw, confirm. It take them two days to count up the money. 11 kilogram of diet coke. And all now, you can hear who it is. At least they explained and brought our memory to identify that two persons have since been arrested while the owner of the house who was subjected, this is the clue, the owner of the house who was subjected or a subject of a drug extradition request he wasn't a subject of a drug extradition he was a subject of a drug extradition request from the united states he's being sought so when we research that now most people got arrested Locked up, probably did their time already. But one person did not. Ragante. And that Presley Bingham. The man where them call Presser. The man where them call Butcherman. So, hear it and I'm here to say it, you know. 
I know me, I say it. So I'm not want to look like say, me, I say it. The Assistant Commissioner Clifford Ford Chambers, the head of the one police division, put up in a response to the news request comment. In the media released Friday morning, the police was said that the house were being investigated. The house in Western Jamaica where the cash were believed to be found is believed to be owned by a well known Western Jamaican business person. Like I said two days earlier, Chambers has indicated that the homeowner who is still not publicly identified was previously subjected to an extradition request of the United States. Not subjected to an extradition, but was previously subjected to a extradition request. They said two persons have since been arrested while the owner of the house who was subjected to the drug extradition request from the United States in 2005 is still being sought. Remember them said there's going to be a high level investigation now in chain and extradition might be a part of it. Investigation they say extends beyond the Jamaican shores. There's an international effort. Chambers said at the time though he did not indicate which jurisdiction may be involved in the probe. He said that in addition to the money bus, Tuesday's operation resulted in the seizure of $500,000 US worth of Diet Coke and the arrest of the 46-year-old businessman that was in possession of that Diet Coke. Right now, they're in custody. Because he was driving the vehicle that was pulled over. And it was subsequently searched, of course. And that's where they found that the Diet Coke was in the vehicle. Again, to date, up till now. The identity of the man that was found with 11 kilos of Diet Coke has not been released. And the 29-year-old bartender, young female bartender, was arrested because she was reportedly held with a certain quantity of ganja during the operation of you know the several secondary homes and they said some of those homes were in Westmoreland, Whitehall area and including St. Elizabeth people on a need for nowhere now though cause from Skilly Bang down, sing it on the plane crash with the coke. There have been many, many sightings of high level dopes. And it appears that the route change from Met Sticker because it seems like them turn up the, the, the border security pan that ends there. Them switch it, go around a Haiti. A Haiti. Prime Minister that go on like him and hold it down. So them slap him wet. So the domestic and them strategically say, okay, we're going to buy out the port them and run it to Jamaica because Jamaicans love the criminality and the illegality. So right now, the new door, the new window is obvious where it's there now. 
And with the right close to the green box, to the money, and we fly the most from the West probably to England and them place there. So we are in the cross errors. Yes, we're in the sights of all these international bodies that have a war against drugs. So the Canadian them fly out and pick up. And sometimes them get stick up. Sometimes them get catch. Just recall in the last two years how many Canadians have been arrested for the diet coke transportation. And how many Jamaicans trying to go into the United States get catch for the diet coke? Yeah, the money I flow, but my people them are stepping through the wrong door. I don't promote any hard drugs coming in or out of my beautiful island because when the distribution is not working in a cards, the people them turn around and domesticate their customer base. Meaning the yard man them start to use it and start to know how it tastes. Although many of you will say, boy, that'll go a long time. But listen, when you see the crime and the violence turn up in a certain country, then that means that the dope money is getting burn up or earn up. I don't know which one you want for say. These people have no quorums, ladies and gentlemen, and making an example of each other. The ramp with it. That's what they're saying. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to hit that red subscribe button if this is your first time tuning in. I'm just catching up on this particular case here that I saw here in Coral Gardens, St. James, on Tuesday, where it appears that over 3.8 million U.S. and over 30,000 Canadian was confirmed, seized at a three-story house in Carl Gardens in St. James. And it appears that there is a drug kingpin on the loss in Jamaica. So the Assistance Commissioner Clifford Chambers nor the superintendent Vernon Ellis, the head of St. James Police Division, can provide the public with a name. Neither can the senior superintendent Stephanie Lindsay. The corporate communication unit cannot communicate to the Jamaican people who they caught with approximately $600 million in their house. And again, over half a million dollar worth of Diet Coke, 11 grams. Why these police officers or politicians are unable to identify these people to the public? Are they waiting for the public to forget? Are they waiting for their convenience to report what they want us to know? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rastafari, so you have deep roots. TV. I'm asking you to hit that red subscribe button. If you have not hit that red subscribe button as yet, leave your comment. Let me know what's really going on. It's my perception that the government can cover up the legality all the time. Babylon invent crime. What's on this mankind? Yeah. Let me see, I'm back in 2005. Do your research, people. Like I said, me give you some name early, early. Early Presley Brigham. Aye, early, early. I'm going to check him out. Let me say crime no pay. Well, it appears these people have been getting paid. But listen up, ah. Truth and righteous since me I deal with it now. Me now promote the use them figures straight. You are going to work hard, plant the good seeds every day. More life.
mo jar. Of course, more nappiness. You be blessed, family. You be blessed.